in dog training about 20 year, 22 years ago. Uh, barn hunt is another sport that's really been growing, um, whereas others like confirmation and obedience has been kind of not growing as much. But agility definitely is one of the ones that you see lots and lots more people get, getting interested in and, and doing with their dogs. I think um, letting them figure it out, whether it's a human or a dog, it's the same kind of process. So you present it to them, and then you let them problem solve and work through it. And then with practice, you learn the skill, whatever it is. So I think it works for the dogs. Um, the dogs don't talk back to you. Sometimes the humans do. So <laughs> sometimes it's easier with the dogs, but sometimes it's harder because they can't talk to you with words. So, you know, if they come lame or something and you don't know why or what's happening, you have to figure it out and trust the professionals to get some help. So it's important to keep them in really good shape. Um, I have some friends in agility that are in their 70s. So I would so love to be able, it might not be running border collies, but I, it's just a really fun thing. And you have to stay in shape and your dogs are healthy. You go for walks every day and do the exercises to stay in shape. So I. I think that I'd like to do it a really long time. <laughs>